All right, let's talk about how to sell your knowledge. Here's the thing, <clears throat> and people forget this all the time, okay? Because you think, oh, who's going to pay for information because YouTube's free, okay? <laughs> I hear people say that. Well, I was talking to this SaaS company out of India yesterday, and they have a fitness person using their software out of South America, and she's got a court, like a, an app and a course on how to lose weight for women. She has 15,000 people paying 40 bucks a month. That's $600,000 a month. And yeah, you can get fitness stuff on, you know, you can get fitness stuff on YouTube. But let me just tell you, if you think like a scientist for a second for business. So scientists have identified at least 25 cognitive biases. These are decision-making kind of pathways, heuristical patterns, they call them, okay? One of them is authority bias. So what that basically means is in, in our hunter-gatherer past, if you go back through, not just to your grandma and grandpa, but you go back 10,000 generations, your great-grandparents, there was always a chief. Some societies were matriarchal, like the Iroquois Indians. Some were, you know, patriarchal, like some of the, you know, modern big three religions. But nonetheless, there was always a big man or a big woman. That's literally the term like Native Americans called them. Big man, big woman. I mean, they were the big boss. Sometimes they were physically big, like Charlemagne, the conqueror in Germany. The family was a big guy, like six foot six, blonde guy. And then you had, you know, Geronimo, the Apache, well, probably the greatest warrior of all time, toughest dude of all time, held off the entire U.S. Army, 27 men. He was a little guy. I don't know, he was like 5'3 or something. But he was a big man in the authority bias of people's brain by accomplishing things. He had killed, he wrote a biography in the year 1900. And he's like, I killed more people hand-to-hand -hand combat than I could ever remember. Now, what does killing have to do with anything? That's then. This woman who's got 15,000 people paying her 40 bucks a month, she's kind of a little authority in South America. I haven't looked into her backstory, but... The reason people want to pay, they want to be part of her tribe. So don't think if you're an expert in an area, just because there's free platforms that people won't pay. And all, and you might say, but Ty, isn't that kind of taking advantage of people using the authority bias to get them to buy something they could get free? Well, that's not totally true. I'll give you an example. You know, I do conferences for years. I remember doing a business conference. I did two conferences in one year. I forget what year, 2016 or something. I did one totally free. And as you can imagine, like crazy amount of people signed up for it. Whatever, a thousand people said they were going to come. How many actually came? It was kind of a dud, like a hundred people came. And then I did one where you had to pay money, a couple hundred bucks, and there was 400 people there. Like 500 people paid for tickets and 400 actually showed up. I'm on my farm here on a walk. So what's the point? Well, a person using authority and charging money is not necessarily manipulative because the authority motivates people to act. So that the leader, the big man, the chief, the woman, you know, the big chief dis, she isn't manipulating people. She's using the circuitry of humans to actually motivate people. In fact, I bet you that woman in South America who has 15,000 people paying her $40 a month is getting more results because the people paying $40 a month, they've committed Mentally, it's like Tony Robbins says, you, you don't change just by changing. You change by changing your standards. So when you devote resources, money, what is money? Scarce in demand resources. When somebody devotes 40 bucks to be part of the big chief or chiefess's educational program or fitness program in this case, they're actually serving themselves. And you might say, ah, oh, this is circular logic. Blah, blah, blah. You're just saying this because you sell courses. Okay. You think YouTube's actually making, has significantly. I think YouTube started in 2006. You think more people are thin now because YouTube has, you know, infinity fitness free programs. You think, is that the truth? The statistics show that the world's gotten in better shape because there's free content out there about fitness. Well, in America, at least <laughs> the statistics are exactly opposite because what people don't pay for and don't commit to, they don't necessarily do. They're not motivated to do. And so actually probably YouTube probably made more people just watch. But when people spend a little money, 
and they take that act of commitment, they show up. So you can give away free content, but you can also charge with no guilt. If you're a big man, big woman, you're an authority in your industry, there's nothing wrong with it. And by the way, you then can, it's funny that people <laughs> sometimes think selling educational courses is a scam. What do you think about fast food then? What's the value given? Diabetes? Nobody's out protesting. Somebody selling, you know, junk food. Basically, the entire fast food system of the United States is a, a, a systematic scam. Okay? A, literally a systematic scam. That's, I always say the scams, <laughs> the real scams are right under your nose. They're adopted by billions. And it's kind of like they say, you know, what is it called when you killed one person? Murder. What is it called when you kill uh, a million people? Oh, war. Justifiable war. I'm not anti-war, but I always think that's interesting. It's like, what, do you, what, <laughs> what is it called when somebody charges one person money for their education? A scam. What is it when they, you know, the modern education systems, I think two trillion globally, and half the people in the school system they're at the wrong age to even be paying attention to their university classes. The average person at a university doesn't read another book for five years after graduating, meaning the whole point of the school system, which is to make you love learning because you have to be a lifetime learner to make it in the modern world. It actually accomplishes, it burns people out by rote memory exams. So the real educational scam is the one that demotivates people. And that's also because a lot of the school system forgets the authority bias, right? So if it was like Elon Musk teaching a business class, people would be in the university paying attention because he's a big man, he's an authority, you know? So just having, and I'm not against teachers. If you're a teacher watching this, I'm not saying you shouldn't teach because you're not a world recognizable authority. But I'm also saying there's some truth to this very simple principle that it's okay for authorities to sell their stuff and compete with the modern school system. There no, needs to be no monopoly for trillions of dollars and insane, I think it's a trillion dollars of debt. My brother went, forgot a Spanish degree and has been in, was in debt for a decade for a Spanish degree. I said, why don't you just go live in Spain, get a job at a restaurant. It would be free and you'd be actually, you'd be getting paid and you'd learn better, more fluent, authentic Spanish. But no, there's a systematic... <laughs> well, we won't go down that rabbit hole. So what can you do as an authority? For those of you who are in my actual course, I have a whole course on how I built my educational program. I'll put a link below. So if you just go to tylopez.com slash podcast, S-Y-K, stands for sell your knowledge. tylopez.com slash podcast, S-Y-K. I'm recording this free video. I want to give you value. Not everybody's going to be in my paid courses, but for those of you who want to go through a systematic approach, to selling education online. I'll show you the tools you need, how to pick the product. If you're not an expert of yourself, how to partner with an expert. There's literally 10,000 experts on YouTube. You can go out and find and partner. You run the business side of things. They produce the content. Look at Masterclass, became a $2 billion company. They didn't produce the educational stuff. They hired Steph Curry to teach basketball. You can do that on a micro scale and build yourself a comfortable financial independent, a comfortable life of financial independence, digital products, no cost of goods. I do physical e-com too, pain in the butt, some good things, but digital products you can teach anywhere in the world. I'll show you how to balance free content. So anyway, I'm going to record the rest of this full lesson for those of you in my paid course on how to sell your knowledge. If you want to get in there, you, I'm not trying to force you. I hope you got some value here that you can take if you're just going to watch my free stuff. But if not, click the link below. Go over to tylopez.com slash podcast SYK. Let me give you one more piece of free value before I go continue recording for the paid community that I have. So what's a practical application for this? Simple. Let's So first ask yourself one question. Is there something I know more than 80% of the population on? Okay. Sometimes people are mistaken. I'm only authority if I know 100, if I'm in the 99.9 .9 percentile. Well, this woman that's doing 15,000 subscribers, paying her 40 bucks a month for fitness, I guarantee you she's not the number one expert in the worth, world in health. But she's probably, you know, 
in the upper 80 percentile plus. Okay. So she, she's, so you don't, don't hold yourself to too high of a standard. Now, if you know nothing about a subject, certainly don't charge people. What you do, if you're not in the 80 percentile, okay, go find someone on YouTube who is. Reach out to 10 people who teach. I saw a guy teaching people guitar, I, uh, just playing guitar, and he's so good. I read the comments, like 100 people said, oh, if you had a class, I would take it overnight. And the guy never replied to his YouTube comments because he's an artist, not a business person. You be the entrepreneur, you contact that person. Say, hey, let's just build a simple course. And all the people who write in, like they want to give you money. You're the chief. You're the big man. You're the authority. They want it. You're actually not, that, that person's not doing people a service by not having a paid guitar program. Let people show with their dollars and commit themselves to change. Like Tony Robbins says, it's not what, it's not change or trying to change the change of your life. It's setting new standards for yourself. You know, a lot of people, I'm going to quit smoking, you know, and you try that, but it's a hard addiction to break. But when you set a new standard that I'm this kind of person, instead of thinking of the inverse, I'm not a smoker. You think about what you are. I'm a healthy person. This is a better way to kind of invert. Like Charlie Munger says, invert, invert, invert and to find the truth. So the same way, if you don't, aren't in the 80 plus percentile of skill level in a certain area, then go and partner with somebody. How do you do it? Download TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I use those platforms. I'm not used by them. Don't be used by social media. You know, better be the drug dealer than the drug addict. I'm not saying you want to be either, but you get my point, right? So I use social media to go find people to partner with and network with. Go to conferences. Go on Udemy. Go on lynda.com. You'll find all these people who are experts. Now, they already might be selling their program. So you're like, why would they want to partner with you? Well, a lot of people who are on those platforms might want their own website. So in my program, I'll teach you in my cellular knowledge how to be just the business side of things. And then you could do this with 10 different influencers, 10 different authorities who teach spirituality, or maybe they're a psychic, maybe they're an astrologer, maybe they're a religious, you know, maybe they're a life coach, maybe they're a fitness person, maybe they teach people how to sharpen knives, how to train horses, how to, you know, live off the land, survival. All kind of, you know, look at Ben Shapiro. I've been on his show, he's been on my show. You know, he launched his app, he's got educational stuff. You maybe, depending on whether you're right or left, you may not agree with it, but I think he publishes numbers of how many people are willing to pay nine bucks a month for education. It's insane. Insane. So tap in and let's go deeper for my paid community. I'm going to stop here for the free podcast. Click the link up in the corner or go to tylopez.com slash podcast SYK. Leave a comment. What do you think is the best product, digital product educationally that'll sell? Like what's the thing? What's the new hot viral thing? Leave a comment.